Hi, so I'm Stacey Bogle, I'm the Natural Resource Management Technical Lead with Cotton Info and I'm here at the Australian Cotton Conference and I've got with me um, Angela Hammond from Lancaster Australia. So we're here today to talk about the Biodiversity Project which is a partnership between Lancaster Australia, um, Country Road and the Australian Cotton Institute to restore biodiversity on Australian cotton farms. And the partnership launched in October 2020. We started in the Namoy Valley with um, Daniel Carl, um, and we've been working with five, six other growers in the Namoy Valley over the last few years to basically implement on-ground works that restore biodiversity um, along our riparian or rivers, so in the Namoy, obviously Namoy catchment. And we are now moving into stage two, so Country Road is supporting the project for another three years and we're moving into the Macquarie Valley. Hi, I'm Angela Hammond. I'm the manager of the Lanka Agriculture Program. Really excited to be here talking with Stacey. Um, and yes, this project that's been running in the Namoy um, has had some really nice success we planted 11,800 trees in the Namoy, which has been along about 11 uh, kilometres of riverside, and which has led to about 50 hectares of biodiversity enhancement along riparian zone. So it's been really exciting because there's some really nice native species along that part of the, the Namoy River, koalas and some bird species, spotted quolls even have been seen along there. So this, this project will connect up biodiversity corridors, which will enable those species to more fluidly move between areas. So it's really good for the health of the environment. And, and since it's Landcare Week this week yes, for Landcare it Australia, it's, yeah. really, um, it's really nice to yeah. be here and discussing this about these great projects. And we're using some CLEC research where we identified where the priority areas are for restoration of cotton landscapes and what are the key management actions that cotton farmers can put on, put in place that will help restore biodiversity. And it's been a great collaboration because obviously across the industry we've got the growers and we've got the scientists and we can provide some science around biodiversity management and metrics yeah. but also the practicalities of planting the trees. That's a really big thing. So we can yeah. plant the trees, we can assess the biodiversity at the beginning of projects and then assess it along the way to to see actually what the changes are and the improvements in biodiversity, which is really important for us to be able to show in our industry and along the beautiful waterways that we're growing cotton on. Yeah.